Hello, my name is David Diley. I'm a filmmaker and underwater cinematographer. And I'm currently on the very beautiful island of Santa Maria in the Azores on the Love Mini Mantas virtual reality project. And I'm taking a little bit of time out to do my first ever video review of the 15,000p Pro Tricolor underwater video lights from Big Blue. Uh, I've had them in the field now for almost three weeks. Um, before I go into giving you my opinion on the lights, I'm going to go into a few of the technical specs um, that you're going to be looking for if you're in the market for a new set of underwater video lights. So first of all, these lights have two color settings. Starting in the cool white mode, the lowest level is 3750 lumen. The next level up from that is 7500 lumen and the level three is 15,000 lumen. On the warm white mode, the lowest level at level one is 1500 lumen, level two is 3000 lumens, and level three, the maximum is 6000 lumens. It also has red color mode, so if you're looking for a focus aid, these lights do actually have that, and that comes at one level, which is 700 lumens. The lights are cased in an anti-corrosive anodized aluminium alloy and the angle of the light beam is a very, very wide 160 degrees. For the burn time of these lights, if you're on maximum level three, you're going to get three hours. On level two, you're going to double that and get six hours. And if you run the lights at level one, you're going to get a whopping 12 hours. So while I've been filming here, it's not just the mobular rays I've been filming, it's other kinds of marine life and it's also people as well. In wide shots, we're getting some quite close up stuff. There's been overhangs, there's been open blue water, very, very sunny, bright days, very cloudy days, and all of this at a whole different range of depths from the surface down to 40 meters. And I have to say the thing that impresses me most about these lights is the color temperature. Not only are they incredibly bright, the color and quality of light is absolutely superb. So when I've been filming the turns from the mobulars and they're lifting up the wings, the, the wings are coming out beautifully white. There's no kind of light blue, there's no color variation on there. It's capturing a very, very natural color. Also on skin tones on the divers, it's capturing a very, very nice natural skin tone through the mask and it's lighting up everything that I need to be. The other thing that I'm incredibly impressed with is the width of beam. The width of beam is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick side-by-side -side comparison um, so you can see the quality of light that these big blue lights put out. Now, this is my parents' dining room with the normal lighting on, uh, so that's all three lights available. The camera is the Canon C100, the lens is the Canon 1022, the white balance is at 5,500 Kelvin, and the ISO at 2,000. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off, and then first of all, I'm going to put my current 1200 lumen underwater video light on at full power, so you can see the, uh, the quality and the spread of light. Then I'm gonna turn the lights off, and then I'm going to use the 15,000 lumen big blue light to show you a comparison between the two. The lights will both be kept just to the left side of the lens, uh, kept in exactly the same place, so we can get as even a uh, view as possible. So here we go. Okay, so that light is about uh, five inches away from the side of the lens. This is the 1200 lumen light. So not too bad, quite a nice color of light um, and a decent enough spread. But now I'm gonna switch this light off and then I am going to do the 15,000 lumen big blue light. Okay, so this is the big blue light in the same position as the last one. As you can see, the spread is much, much wider. The light is much, much brighter. And also the color seems a little bit better out of the back of the camera to me. Um, but in terms of the width of the beam, it's absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so first of all, what do I like about these lights? Well, there's, there's three very main things. 
The first one is the, the power. Each one of these putting out 15,000 lumens at the maximum setting means that in terms of as a fill light, even if I'm shooting at the surface in broad daylight, it means that I can stop the camera down, which means that focusing underwater on the small screen on the back of this housing becomes a lot easier to do. So it makes focusing easier. And that light also means that in terms of as a fill light, when you have a subject which can be quite big, like a manta ray or a shark or here with mobular rays, it means that you're actually, you're lighting up everything in the frame. It also means that the risk of underexposing in any areas of the frame, creating digital noise is much, much lower. When I've reviewed the footage that has come back out of the camera after the dives, having used these lights, the exposure levels are much better, the level of noise is much lower, and just the overall spread of light is just, it's a huge improvement on what I've been used to. The second thing that I really like about these lights is the color temperature. I've been using them predominantly in cool white mode. Uh, I find for me that it gives a much more natural lighting color. So when I'm seeing those mobulars coming in towards the camera and then turning, the underside of those wings is that beautiful white color, which is how they look underwater. And they really, really, really fill the subject. It's, it's incredibly impressive how these lights manage to keep that natural light of the subject. The third thing which has really impressed me about these lights is the spread of the beam. At 160 degrees, it is considerably wider than I'm used to. That also means that when you're getting animals that are coming closer towards the lens and I'm shooting on a wide angle lens, I now don't have to worry that if there's any areas of the frame which are a little bit darker, that they're going to be demonstrably darker actually in the final image. The whole frame is lit up. So the three main things being the power, the temperature and the spread of the beam, that's the three things that were issues that I was encountering with previous lights. These lights have now solved those issues completely. So the fourth main thing that has really impressed me about these big blue lights is the battery life. The battery life is absolutely phenomenal. At full level three output setting at 15,000 lumens, you will get three hours out of each of these lights. Now, for me, while I've been here, that has been plenty. So I know that when I go out on the boat, I know that I'm not having to come back to shore to recharge the lights, which is a huge plus point in these. So what else do I like? They're actually, for lights that give out as much power as they do, they're pretty small. So if you look at them on this quite small video setup, they're easy to transport, they're not too heavy, they pack into the Pelican case that I bring with this, so they're not overly bulky. So that's another huge plus. Now, I will point out at this stage that this is not the optimum way of attaching these lights. So I have here the lock line arms, which I used with my previous setup, um, which unfortunately do not fit the ball mount attachment or the YS attachment that come with these. Now I actually received the lights the day before I had to drive down to Heathrow to fly out here. So I didn't have the time to actually get a proper connection setting to proper arms for the lights. So I have had to utilize cable ties and uh, lanyards along with ball mount clamps to actually make these usable on this housing. So this isn't something that you would do, but this is worth pointing out. This is not what I would recommend. However, it has worked and thankfully they haven't disappeared into the blue. So that is worth pointing out. So when you get these lights, make sure that you're looking at the right, the right arms and the right ball mount settings to actually get them to attach to your camera. In all seriousness, I have been trying to think of something about them which I haven't found incredibly impressive and I, I haven't been able to do that. The one thing that I'd maybe pick out is the one button operation. Um, it's not just an on off that button toggles through the various settings. Now, when I came to the Azores, what I found is that on one of the lights, it would go 
from on to off and it wouldn't toggle through. And on the other lights, it would toggle through, which I found quite strange. What I then realized was then when we took it on the dive and I just basically ran them at maximum setting, was that I think that they just needed to be pressurized. So after that, it then turns out that what you need to do before turning the lights off is you'll toggle through. So it will start off on maximum setting on cool white. It'll then go down to level two, then level one. Then it'll go down to maximum setting on the warm white, then level two, then level one on warm white. Then you'll get the red light. Then you'll get SOS, which is a feature on here also, and then it'll turn off. Sometimes if you hold the button in for two to three seconds, they turn off. This seems to not be particularly consistent. So that's possibly the only thing I can think about which is a little bit awkward. If I could think of any improvement, it would be the on-off button and maybe a toggle switch as well. Um, and that's it. That's really it. Um, I've been trying to find faults. I've been trying to find flaws because what I don't want this to come over is a review which is just saying how great something is because someone's been kind enough to loan me them. But I really can't think of anything particularly negative to say. For me, as a professional underwater cinematographer, light is the key thing. Um, my setup that I've been used to using, which is 1200 lumens on each light, and a very warm 1200 lumens as well, just wasn't cutting it for professional projects anymore. So this is basically fixed or these lights, should I say, these big blue lights have fixed every issue I've encountered with lighting video underwater. Now, would I buy them? Absolutely. At £999 each, they're not cheap. These are professional video lights. However, for the value for money against other competing professional lights in the marketplace, I would say these represent very, very, very good value for money with extremely high quality and very, very robust as well. Um, so if you're in the market for a set of professional grade underwater video lights, I, I can't help but recommend these lights to you. They do come in lower power output settings and they also do come in higher output settings. I know that there's a 25,000 lumen model and I think that there's a 30,000 lumen model as well. The 15,000 lumens is more than sufficient for me for what I'm doing. But all in all, hugely impressed. Don't want to give them back. Not looking forward to giving them back. Um, but I do think these will become a part of my kit as soon as they possibly can because they are absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that is my first ever video review that I've ever done. And it's for the big blue 15,000 lumen underwater video lights. Um, I'm not used to doing this. It's been a little bit rushed because we are on production, so I've had to take some time out to do this. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Maya Santangelo for taking up the role behind the camera and filming this for me. Um, if you have any comments or you have any experience with these lights, please leave a comment below. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask them and I'll make sure to uh, answer them as honestly as I can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with just a little montage of footage that I've shot whilst I've been here uh, using this camera setup, the Canon 7D in the Nauticam housing with the two big blue 15,000 lumen underwater video lights. So I hope you've enjoyed the review and thanks for taking the time to watch.